I've really, really been inspired by the Arboretum since I first arrived in Dallas. Um, I arrived in 2003 um, and I came from England and I have always been someone who draws their creative juice from nature. Nature is really, really important to me. Um, and together we have crafted this idea for the first time of an art residency here where artists spend time here, draw their inspiration from the gardens and then um, are able to show their works here. I have this concept of a day in the life of the sun where um, I follow the sun on its journey. Now obviously the sun doesn't actually move really, um, but I think that's an accurate reflection of how it feels to be human and conscious is that we are all the, the center of our own universes and we construct um, our experiences um, through our personal lens. So this tree features extensively in my paintings and my video. Um, I came here all day and I recorded different footage um, in the morning, noon and in the evening and I watched the sun. I actually sat and watched the sun move and change. Um, I use um, oddities of human perception to try and break down the image and take it just as far as I can from representation to abstraction, which I see as a way to distill the core essences. How far can I take this image and it still convey what it is and what it means to me and yet be in a universal language? I have taken very specific experiences I've had here, very specific pieces of sky, very specific interactions of foliage, um, and I've created works that derive from standing in one spot um, and looking up. I think what drew me when I came here as a, through the artist's eyes was that this is all an artist's vision also. You know, someone planned out all of this and someone decided to pair up these textures with these and these colors with these. I think for me it's the passing of time. It's seeing, um, it's seeing life grow out of the ground and then leaves falling off of trees and, and you know things that are small grow bigger and then they ultimately die. So I started out with the newspaper as the color palette and then layered paint on top of that. Um, to kind of I, I like taking snippets of newspapers are everyday life. It's it's banal, mundane, it's just at, at the next day, it's, it's out of date, you know, it's, it's, it's almost, um, it's almost this nostalgic form of transmitting news, um, and I like that quality, I think that people can relate to, everyone can relate to newspaper, and everyone can, has an experience with newspaper, um, and different uses for newspaper, um, then I remember growing up, my father has this huge garden, and he would line the, the, where the, you know, the outside of the beds um, with newspaper too. That's a, this is all about the creative process here, and this is what the, you know what the magic of being at the Arboretum has been about. It's not about necessarily the, the finished works. It's about the creative process. It's often said that every painting created is actually a self-portrait. So, what do you see in nature that reflects your own life back at you?